Howdy folks, we're back in the wood shop again this afternoon and uh, kind of late in the day, uh, probably should be uh, thinking about stopping and uh, having something to eat, but uh, you know the old upper management, they've been sort of mixing the, mixing the pot again and suggesting that maybe Maybe I shouldn't be making these bowls, and I, and I, and I still I kind of feel like doing it. So I got a piece of cedar here, and I've got it fitted with a faceplate, and I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it, but I think I'm going to try to level off this side, and then... Uh, this is going to be the top. This is going to be the bottom here. Because this is the way the wood runs. So we'll, we'll try to put a tenon here eventually. Uh, we'll probably put a, once we get a, a level spot here, probably put a woodworm screw in there and then turn this back around and uh, make a tenon on here so we can turn it around and make this the top. Does that make any sense? Uh, it's, it's sort of a, it's sort of like, uh, which, 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 uh, which cup is the, is the, uh, is the uh, P under? I, 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 I don't know. Anyway, it's a piece of cedar. And it's a big piece. I only need to get pieces this big. So I'm going to uh, mount this thing, and we'll try and let the let the machine. That's not what we want. Uh, boy, I've seen the big guys do this. And, and it seems like it really works. There we go. There we go. So now we got her on there, and we're going to bring our tailstock up. sure how fast we can turn here. This piece of wood's pretty heavy, pretty good size. We're up to about 350 now we're, and we're still solid. 400, 450, starting to get a little vibration. We're at 500. I think we're going to try to start there. And we'll get two rest out here, and we want to get as close to the. This may look flat here, but it's not. It's the piece is narrower here than it is here, so uh, we're going to have some thumping going on. And. This obviously was a place where two logs grew together. This looks pretty hard, but it looks interesting. And that's why that's why we've chosen it here to to try and uh, make something out of it. First goal is to make this level, I think or at least level enough so I can put a woodworm screw, uh, screw in there.
So we're going to cover up the old workbench back here. Tool storage. Uh, try and try and contain the the uh, chips as they fly off. Well, I think, I think, I think I'm going to start with this bigger gouge. Uh, I don't know how sharp it is, that's the problem. But we're going to, we're going to just try and cut very slowly. Face shield on here. Pretty slow going, folks. But if you want to slip out, get a snack, uh, you should be able to. turn pretty easily. Likely will be a little bigger cedar bowl than we're used to. Don't usually get cedar in this size. going to come off eventually. Eventually. But well.
Well, I think uh, something pretty good. I think we need to uh, cut that center out of there, and then we need to think about about uh, probably putting a woodworm screw in there. I think we can do that. Let's see here. think about this. I'm still thinking that the, the best way to do is to make this the bottom. This is the, the flow of the of the wood. So we'd have a bigger bowl. If we go the other way, we're going to have to cut all this off. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a, uh, a natural edge bowl because Well, we might have some bark left. We need to put a woodworm screw here. And then put a tenon on the back side. Okay. So, um, I think we'll make that the uh, I think we'll make that the first video. Um, we're going to try and make two or three videos out of this. So uh, thanks for watching, folks. Have a good day.